So it is happening guys, I am moving from this kind of contraption where it's kind of messy, all the wires are loose. Okay, but not for your long term deployment to something a bit more, uh, well I can't say pro, but better definitely. Enclosure for every component, we got an O-ring from TPU, yes, so good. We got some thicker wires. Oh, they are so nice as well. Here we are, a beautiful enclosure for the DIN rail, some terminal blocks. And obviously, if you don't know, this space here is for the uh, sealant, as in glue, or the, what you call it, uh, bathroom seal, white stuff, whatever, or soldered. And I've been playing around with the DuPont cables, but I don't like them too much because they are very soft and squishy. And there you go, there is the uh, SHT20 sensor behind, because why not, it's just for checks now. But these wires need to be replaced with these, because we're going in all the way, right? And I also printed these bad boys. Oh, black, black and red. Black and red looks so good. So, mmm, this is gonna be looking so slick. And this is matching the uh, groove setting I've been testing. So all of that will work perfectly. I also have, oh, this is a bit wobbly today. I also got the one for this. So they will be all covered when I, once I got all the wiring down. Oh, so good. Come on, come on, come on. You have to tell me this is at least a bit sexy. Oh, yeah, I've sounded this. <laughs> So yeah, that's it, a bit of an update, so I can go a bit more, uh, what you call it, pro for my Modbus setup. And I have an idea what I want to automate first, actually. It will be a bit of a uh, doozy, but we'll see how we get there. All right, thanks for watching.